Hello, today let's take a look how can we um, embed video on a web page. So here I have my HTML and CSS and then this is the video space.mp4 so I just downloaded from Pixabay it's a free a video file just some uh, video background. So let's take a look at the video dimensions. So we have size width 640 by 360. This is how uh, I downloaded from there. And let's take a look here. Okay, so this is our HTML. I'm just going to move it here. So, and what we can do is we use this uh, video element. So video and then we use uh, source attribute. So we put the file name space dot mp4. Let's see what happens now. Okay, so it is showing in the browser, but nothing happens because uh, there is no attributes on that uh, video element. So here we can do like autoplay but it's almost never used because uh, there are rare cases where you, you would want to video autoplay because because not all users wanted to autoplay especially those on the mobile devices using the, the paid plans or for some other reasons. So autoplay is uh, almost never used. But uh, if we put autoplay, just uh, out of curiosity, so it autoplays once uh, once on the page. Okay. So this is uh, autoplay. And uh, actually uh, what we can do, we just add, I'm going to remove autoplay and add controls attribute. And what it does, it it adds play and pause button and also adds uh, a volume control button if there's a um, sound on the video but my video doesn't have sound so let's see here okay so now we have um, play pause button so we can play it pause it play it pause it as you can see uh, because it, uh, there's no sound with this original video, there's uh, this uh, the speaker icon, uh, like a speaker icon, uh, the sign, it's a gray out. Those two, uh, those are default of Chrome, looks like it uh, comes from Chrome. And if you click here, we can download uh, picture in picture. It just opens, opens it in a new, like a pop-up window. So... This is back to tab. We click back and then it plays here. Okay, so that's how we um, embed the video. But when we need to say position it on a page, because this is a default position, uh, it just stacks well, like it's um, HTML flow. So from left right and then top to bottom so uh, Mozilla if we go on MDN so here if we scroll down there's a section about that talks about CSS I think it's here somewhere usage okay yeah here starting with CSS so uh, video element is a replaced element so it's same as image so uh, default is in line but common strategy is to give it display value of block to make it easier to position. So what we can do, so say we want this to be at the center of a page and we can do so. So what we do is say video Display block. 
and to position it we just do some give it some margin so it will just center it on a page okay let's see here okay now it's uh, centered on a page okay okay what else uh, about video element and uh, let's see um, width and height for example so as as we remember this one is uh, the def the original size was uh, 640 by 360 let's actually check it in the Chrome inspector if we go here so just open it so you can see guys so this is our video and then so the width 640 and the height 360 but what we can do say for example if we if you want to change the size say you want you want to do instead of width 640 say 500 so let's see what happens the widths we can uh, declare here say 500 okay so it became smaller but as we can see we still have our aspect ratio so we go back to our inspector and say video so 500 so 500 and then the, the it, it automatically adjusted the height to keep the aspect ratio so this is uh, the very basics of how of how this works embedding video on the page and uh, of course guys if you want to learn more about this um, you can check this page if you have time so this is the MDN uh, web docs and I'm gonna post uh, the link below the video okay as always um, that's all for today and as always uh, thank you for watching